Okay, putting the uh, camera cranes up. The, to get a camera crane up, you need the crane itself, a bag, the uh, CLS acid battery that will power the, uh, the camera and the uh, Wi-Fi to Ethernet or Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter, and 20 pounds of weight. Uh, inside the camera bag itself, you'll find the uh, swivel tilt swivel bracket for the camera, uh, the gaming adapter. This is what lets the uh, Ethernet camera broadcast Wi-Fi. Some uh, jumpers that lets you get power through the splits in the crane. And that's all you need. There's some other stuff in here too. Uh, some Ethernet cable and a um, power over Ethernet splitter. Uh, you don't need those unless you decide to go wired. If you want to go wired or, or even if you, you only need those if you don't want to use the batteries. If for some reason the batteries get a problem, you could always run power up and Ethernet from the power over Ethernet splitter. So let's put the crane together. Okay, I've already taken the, um, the uh, Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter and the uh, uh, power jumpers out of the side pocket. The uh, crane itself is boxed packaged in here. There's really not enough of this cloth here that separates them, keep them getting scratched, and I think there ought to be. Uh, but we have the, the stand and three sections. Also, this is supposed to be in the side pocket as well. My helper last time put it in here only because less stuff to rattle around and scratch if you put it in the side pocket. This is the uh, post where the weight's going. Okay, start out with, um, before, we, before we put it together, just look how high the thing goes. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I generally put it on one, two, three, four. The uh, assembly itself starts with the swivel guy here, like so. And then the piece that does not have the um, camera mount on it. Back these screws out, if you look down, there's these little thumb screws that are used to tighten it. I screw them all the way in because they tend to fall out if you don't. So you need to back them off enough so that you can insert the, um, the beam section. You put it together and slide the uh, mechanical part of this back. Slide together like that. There's a little notch in this, um, this bar, so you just tighten that screw into that, and then these two thumb screws. Next we can put the uh, counterweight Counterweights on. We forgot a step. Before we start putting the crane together, we want to get the face spread out. So normally I spread it out until until it's about at a maximum width, and it sends the same guy down. Nice and tight. Okay, don't raise it up. I need to try Then we're ready for the, the weights. And it takes 20 pounds for these guys plus the, uh, the battery. It'll actually fly before the camera's on with just these four. It makes it just about mutually balanced. So that works out kind of nice. Just put a clamp on and clamp it over the top of that really nice and tight because if you don't want that camera falling off for sure. So I snug it down pretty darn firm. We also stack the, uh, the wireless adapter. And on the bottom is a Velcro pad. You know, we got coming out of the crane two power cords, one for the gaming adapter and one for the camera. And we got the Ethernet cable to plug in the camera. Let's put the camera on next. So, camera goes to where it can swivel back toward, or, or you know, this way. Also need to be able to swivel that way because what happens is 
you typically can't put the crane right a beam the start line because there's a uh, the line judge chair goes there so you need to be either on his left or, or his right which means you'll always have to you know the crane will have to come in and then you'll have to tilt this tilt this back to correct for that angle I'm not going to worry about that here just realize that you you know no use putting it down all the way because you're going to have to tilt it this way and and that way You don't want to just hook it over once because if it uh, it could fall off the end easier. So I always just loop it one extra time, make sort of half a knot. Has a little pocket here. The uh, connector to use to uh, power the plugs into the crane for the batteries and the wireless adapter. I just started putting it in here, and that keeps it from shorting against anything. There's another there's another cable in here. It won't plug in the same thing. That's for charging. You just plug the battery charger into that. Uh, I doubt you'd need to for a single weekend, but it's probably a good idea until we know for sure how much the battery life is. Well, anyway, we'll take we'll take out this cable, the cable once or maybe even twice, and let it hang. And then you plug the uh, you plug the jack into the end of the, uh, the put the plug into the jack in the crane. You need to put the jumpers in. The jumpers make the connections across the. Uh, the sections of the crane. There's a power cable inside the crane, and these just make the connections across those splits. Finally, you uh, plug the Ethernet in, you, uh, you Velcro the gaming adapter. You uh, plug the Ethernet cable between them, and you apply the uh, you plug the power. In. The, the 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 plugs aren't quite the same size. The uh, the one with the smaller diameter goes to the uh, the, the wireless adapter, and the other one goes to the uh, camera. And if you've got power, I don't know if it'll come through on the video. Let's do that again. If you got power, you'll see uh, the camera fresh yellow and blue lights and the gaming adapter should have blue blue lights on the LED side indicate it's powered on I'm sure you won't know, we'll tell you. maybe you'll pick it up on the camera but you can see there's some blue lights on the end maybe okay that's it now of course you got to aim it and uh, aim it and focus it if it's at the height of the um, crane as we set it up typically um, then you can just line the lens to the marks on the camera and it should be in focus and with the right uh, zoom